Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jay, aka the Murder Whistle. As you can see, Copals is here with me. Today, we are watching Trading Places. I know Trading Places is starring Eddie Murphy, Dan Aykroyd, and Jamie Lee Curtis. I know I got some relatives. That's going to look at me like, I can't believe you've never seen Trading Places. I was always like, why would I watch anything else when I got coming to America? Because I used to watch the hell out of Coming to America. Because Coming to America was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Ever. Like, we still, quote, Coming to America... Through the day, like bark like a dog, bark like a big dog. So, I never watched Trading Places. I didn't watch another Eddie Murphy movie till I mean, y'all seen I missed um the Billy Hills Cop thing. I haven't seen I've seen the first one now, I haven't seen part two. I need to watch that. I honestly have no idea what it's about. I know it takes place during Christmas. Other than that, I don't know nothing else about it. Like I said, I really don't know what this one's about. I just know they in it. Only reason I know Jamie Lee Curtis is in it because of Scream Token. Was Scream? Yeah, Scream One Token. I know with Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy both in it. There's no way in the world this can't be funny. It has to be funny. My pops will actually be happy that I'm watching this. I, I think he likes this movie a lot. He mentioned it before. I, like, I'm going to sit here in my head really trying to think if I know anything about this movie other than that. I really don't. I don't even remember conversations, like, me and had about this movie. You know what I'm saying? I just always heard it was funny. Dude, I wish I could watch Coming to America with this channel. I will be on here crying laughing. I'm really looking forward to getting this, but before we get into it, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to hit that like and subscribe. Also, don't forget that bell notification. That way you remind when we drop some new stuff. Also, I need y'all to take the link to the Patreon. You'll find all my full-length movies. We got exclusive movies and exclusive TV shows over there as well. Some of y'all been asking what's the best way to support us. Patreon is definitely the way. But with that being said, I'm ready to get into the reaction. So I'll see you on the other side. Let's get it. So this takes place in Philly. And that's that's the same street that um that Rocky ran down. Do they have the Rocky statue in this? Or was it a statue yet? You know, I played basketball from getaways. I've never played it like that. Oh, is he a butler? I've been thinking this is his place. For your breakfast, sir. So he Dan Aykroyd's butler. Do butlers cook? I didn't know they cook. I don't remember Jeffrey cooking in French Press. Good morning, Falsy. Oh, he is bougie, ain't he? Good morning, Mr. Duke. And these motherfuckers got money, money, don't they? I just cannot believe how stupid these scientists are, the eternal question. There's no question. The answer is obvious. I don't. Ain't they the bulbs that are coming to America? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Thank you very much! Vietnam did this to me, but I'm not bitter. Thank you! Yes. Merry Christmas! Happy Hanukkah! I have no money to give you. Please! Anything! Please. Oh, sh! Oh, Eddie Murphy is so ignorant, man. Thanks a lot. How you like a stump up your ass? Stay out of here! You got a lot of soul. Appreciate it. Oh, he a fing fool, man. It 
Oh my God, man. Ah, oh, Ezra, right on time. Bet you thought I'd forgotten your Christmas bonus. There you are. Five dollars. Maybe I'll go to the movies by myself. Half of it is from me. Nah, dog, I don't want your bonus. Apparently, you need it more than I do. Looking good, Lewis. Feeling good, Todd. We uh, need a fourth for squash today, Lewis. Are you interested? No can do. I'll be having dinner with Penelope tonight. I bet they iron their tidy whities All of them. Randolph? Mortimer? Winthorpe, my boy? What have you got for us? Those are the bums. Th them the same names and everything. Hey, baby, what's happening? What are you doing? You want you to have a man with no legs, you never go back, baby. I know what you're thinking. You see Paul getting best? We can make it, baby. Me and you! Hey, he got a strong ass grip to grab her like bitch. that. <laughs> Why he call her a bitch like that? We've had some complaints about con men pretending to be blind and uh, crippled. Oh, I'd love to help you, man, but I ain't seen nothing since I stepped on that landmine in Viet Cong back in 72. That is my stupid. First Moses now this. God, Jesus. Oh, man. Look at me. That first Moses now this. Ain't Murphy a fool, man. Sorry about that, Stop. man. Help. Take it, take it. Please don't kill me. I don't want your bag, man. Help! 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 He's in there! After him! Oh, he scared of black people? I would like to press full charges. People like this are a menace to decent society. You're from a broken home, of course. If it was broke, so what? I want a lawyer. Is there a lawyer in the house? <clears throat> oh, that's funny as hell. That man is a product of a poor environment. There's absolutely nothing wrong with him. I can prove it. Of course there's something wrong with him. He's a Negro. Probably been stealing since he could crawl. That's why you broke and coming to America. Right there. Because you're racist. You're a racist piece of That's That's why you're a bum in the next movie. I wish he didn't give you the money. I suppose you think Winthorpe, say if he were to lose his job, would resort to holding up people on the streets? If he were somehow disgraced and arrested with the police and thrown in jail even? Shut the f up! That's why this car trading places! How much you want to bet? The usual amount. Why not? Oh, they play with people's lives! These f ain't sh a scientific experiment. Well, not at all, sir, though. I, it all sounds very, uh... Well, it's your house, sir, and I work for you. I, I shall make the necessary arrangements. Oh. So you're a borrow butler. We are going to make a great couple. We're going to have a great life. Excuse me, sir. What is it now, Coleman? Will you be needing me any more this evening, sir? No, I think I have everything I want. I bet they have the born of six. I am a chain belt of Kung Fu. Bruce Lee was my teacher. Watch this. I mean, you know, none of this was in the script. None of, none of that was in the script. Billy Ray Valentine? Yes? Move it. You made bail. I did? So he didn't see the... Because <laughs> he looked like he didn't see nobody right there being held up. So who bailed him out? I forgot about them motherfuckers, man. Hey man, don't I know you two guys? Step inside. Nice and warm in here. Whiskey. All you want. We're the ones who bailed you out. I mean, he tried to learn him with whiskey like 
like he was a puppy with a treat. He just need a clan hood. And I know somebody going somewhere, he ain't racist. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Not too sure about the other one. But him, racist as f My brother and I run a privately funded program to rehabilitate culturally disadvantaged people. We're going to start you at $80,000 a year. What about the police and the payroll? We've had the charges dropped, Mr. Valentine. Hey man, eighty thousand dollars back in the eighties, bro. That's a lot of money. Hey, Randy, Morty, this is nice. I like this. William, yeah, perhaps your coat, sir. Uh, yes, this is my coat. Uh, Coleman is here to take care of you. He is your servant. Well, he don't. Hey, hey bubbles, man. Say, man, when I was growing up, we want jacuzzi. We had to fart in the tub. Uh, shut the f up, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Eddie Murphy is a special kind of Eddie. But that's very pretty. I like that. I like that name. I don't think he understands, Randolph. Oh, but Monte, I do understand. Why is he stealing? It belongs to you. Yeah, all this is mine. I like my home. It's very nice. That's very nice tasting houses. Why? Why is he still in the front of them? Look, first you throw my ass in jail, right? Then you're gonna drive me out here and start running some garbage to me about this is my house, this is my personal rug, and then you're gonna tell me this is my personal slave too. Hey, he got a point though. Okay, you want metal like lemon shit, right? <laughs> That's a cheap vase, man. That was a fake, right? I think we paid thirty-five thousand dollars for it. For a vase? So, all right. How they gonna make him broke? I'm telling y'all, they iron and starch their underwear. What kind of place is this? Gentlemen, there is something rotten in the Heritage Club. I wonder what the average income of that place is. There is a thief, and he's sitting here among us. Not an ordinary thief. Oh, shit. I, ain't that the, um, the principal from um, the Breakfast Club? Not him. This man is a hundred times lower. Not this dude, get off the screen. Him. Ain't that the principal? I'd like to ask you to place your left hand on the shoulder of the man to your left. To place your right hand in the coat pocket of the member to your right. And empty the contents of those pockets under the table. Now, f that. It, no. We mark three $50 bills with red X's. Those bills were stolen from a coat in the cloakroom. Now, wait a minute. I've never seen this money before in my life. Randolph Mortimer, this is outrageous. I'd have said that before I sat down. When I sat down, I'd have seen it in front of me. I'm like, this ain't mine. I'm glad your parents are not alive to see this. What the? Oh, they dirty. They have to bring his dead parents into this. Boy, are you two going to be sorry. Do you know who I am? Take off your clothes. Now, wait a minute. I know my rights. Take off your clothes. Did you hear what this man said to me? Now, I have witnesses. This man is physically threatening me. Hey, um, why is he stripping in that room? One cellophane bag. That's not mine. Oh, he got that. Oh, what? Hey, these motherfuckers is petty. They did all this to this man on a bet. What is this shit here? Hold up. Hey, who been putting out their coals on my floor? Who has been putting out their coals on my floor? Oh, he about to lose his shit. Would you like me to prepare some more hors d'oeuvres for the guests, sir? He said, nah, these about to get out of my house. My bedroom? I'm waiting for you, Billy Ray. The key to the plot. Put your clothes on and get out. Them too. Your friends seem to enjoy themselves, sir. I thought it was a great success. There wasn't no friends of mine, Coleman. It was a bunch of freeloaders treating my house like it was a goddamn zoo. But you invited them over. Yeah, I think I will um retire.
Oh, Andy Murphy acting like one of them. So what happens if um the one dude wins? The non racist brother. What happens if he wins? Do he um Eddie Murphy keep the house and stuff? Damn. You see his fing eye? Is he picking his feet? I don't blame her. I'd have done the same. Shit. The good news is I'm innocent. I've never even done anything vaguely resembling this. Really, it's the truth. You look awful. I'm so ashamed. Look at her. You've been fighting it, and you smell. Bitch, do you know what I've been through? You realize where I've been since yesterday? Break up with her. Mother wants me to call off the wedding, and so does Todd. Todd. What does Todd have to do with it? Yeah, what does Todd have to do with it? They're preparing charges against you for embezzlement. So she been f***ing Todd this whole time for real. Look at the man I loved, whose children I wanted to have in She said the man I loved, like past tense. With almighty God as my witness. Look at his eye. Uh. <laughs> Everywhere for you, baby. Listen, Lewis, it's you. I'm hurting, baby. I just need to. Hey, man, you you don't you don't know how many dicks been in that mouth. Don't say that to me. I know it's Jamie Lee Curtis, but she's a hooker. I never want to see you again as long as I live. Hey, on the bright side, I bet Jamie Lee Curtis do that thing you like. She wouldn't. Hustling you. He can't even open his eye. Oh, they changed the locks on him. If you don't go away, I shall be forced to call the police. At least Comey felt bad for doing that. May I see your credit cards, please? I've been ordered to repossess them. What? Now, wait a minute. What am I supposed to live on? I mean, what's going to happen to me? Roger. Did I do that? You really crawl over there. Never done a hard day's work in your life, have you? I mean, she called him out like that. I'm gonna regret this, bud. Come on. Like, I'm over here conflicted because I know it's Jamie Lee Curtis. But I know she's a hooker in this movie. And my love for Jamie Lee Curtis is strong. There's some strange shit going on here, Coleman. No sh Did he call Miss Hurt backwards? Why would you do that? Coleman a good dude. He just worked for some fed up people. We are commodities brokers, William. Now, what are... He look confused as shit. I mean, I would be, too. Pork bellies, which is used to make bacon, which you might find in a bacon and lettuce and tomato sandwich. Why he look at us? Why he look at us like that? And gold. Though, of course, gold doesn't grow on trees like oranges. Uh, uh, listen. I thought the gold was chocolate. Out my tax bracket, bro. I don't know. Well, what do you think, Valentine? Hey, that's a sounds to me like you guys are a couple of bookies. Yeah, I told you he'd understand. <laughs> Listen, Rahim, Muhammad, Larry, how you guys doing? Hey, how you doing? I thought that was one person. You know, for all I know, right at this moment, he could be fondling my fiance. Todd been fondling your fiance. And she ain't your fiance no more. Now, you want me to help you out? I expect a lot in return. Just back to shit with that door. Um, Ophelia. Ophelia? Ophelia! Look, I'm 24 years old and from a small, miserable little mining town you probably never heard of. Wimps? 
I have enough to retire on. You're a prostitute. And you kissed her in the mouth. I help you get yourself back on your feet and you pay me in cash five figures. That's the deal, and it's not subject to negotiation. She's a businesswoman, though. I like that. That key to the plot. My wife ain't gonna make love to me because I ain't got no money, right? So they're sitting there and they panicking, they screaming, sell, sell! Because they don't wanna lose all their money, right? Say, Eddie Murphy's doing something that I don't have the skill to do. Like, when he's around them, his vocabulary change. I don't have that skill. I talk how I talk. Very well done. Come on, Randolph. We're going to be late. He hates it. And that was good thinking, though. But, hey, old boy hates it. They got a chair in the elevator? Muffy in the bathroom stall. <laughs> Margaret by the lake. Susan down in Whitley Hall. What the f are they doing? Constance Fry. Anytime you. He got his collar popped like Kanye. Nobody wants to buy your drugs here, Louie. Why don't you just go away? I hope you get hit by a bus, bitch. I need 50 bucks for 50 bucks? No, no, no. This is a Rochefoucauld, the thinnest water-resistant watch in the world. Listen, that must be a very expensive watch because I've never heard of it. How much for the gun? Yeah, I don't think I sold him that. I hope he didn't sell him that. I want another big S so everybody can see it. Oh, the seven says, but what do you want that for? He says, but you see, when I drive down the avenue... Don't nobody see him? Look at that S car go. <laughs> S car go. That's a horrible dad joke. Judging from all these jewels around your girlfriend's neck here, I think you'll need every penny you got just to keep her happy. Shut the f up. <laughs> and he caught her to go digger to her face. It's 10 o'clock. Here's Johnny. Listen, baby, I'm sorry. My mama just came in from out of town. Listen. I'm, I'm not, I'm not buying the prostitute flowers. You've been so kind to me. I'm just protecting my investment. That's all. You're protecting your investment by playing with his hair? Shut up. You like him. I'll read your paper. Like I said, I'm conflicted because I know she's a prostitute, but that's Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis could be kissing on me like that. We get married. I'll give him a Christmas present he'll never forget. Hey, he looked like a cartoon character doing that. <laughs> the f Dirty ass Santa Claus with this. Ew. Oh, I <laughs> What is that? And where did he get this nasty ass Santa suit from? The wager has two parts, as I recall. Something about a second party turning to crime. Are they gonna mention that right in front of him? So he's robbing the place in a dirty ass Santa suit with biscuits in his pocket. This man's obviously a lunatic. I'm calling security. Put that phone down. Is that rust beef? Merry Christmas. He saw him the f gun. Freeze, slime ball. I realize this whole experience must have been rather unsettling for you. 
Like, their security has to be horrible there. How do you let him in with this dirty ass Santa suit? Look at his shoes. Look at his shoes. Look at his shoes. Nobody has money to buy drugs, right? Listen, you can't be soft on people like that. Take it from me. I know, Randolph. Shut the f up. He is one of them. Did he keep the joint? Bro, did he keep the joint? You can't say what you said to keep the joint. He was smoking in the bathroom. Oh, he's smoking some bull weed if they don't smell it. Oh, nigga, we wasn't doing that. Pay up, Mortimer. I won the bet. Here. One dollar. <laughs> Shut the f up! They took a perfectly useless psychopath. They ruined this motherfucker life for a dollar? Oh, they going to a special place in hell. Y'all are super ain't shit. Like, y'all are a special breed of ain't shit. You really believe I would have a run our family business, Randolph? What well, would y'all say about he ain't racist? Like, why would they have that conversation there? Why is he still there? Winslow! Hey, bro, he got a gun. Do you not remember that? <laughs> Look how the f noise he made. <laughs> what is <do you> <laughs> Hey, where do you bring that sound from in your body? Winthor. He's walking in traffic. Winthor. They ain't him, he got on black boots. Sorry about that. Hey, my man is f***ed up. Man, where'd he get this stank-ass suit from? He got the pistol right here and Oh, I thought he was pissing on himself. The puppy disrespectful. Hey, man, he just looked like he stink. And it scared the out of me. We're going to call that a Christmas miracle. Merry Christmas. Uh, Louie. Look at her. Louie, when you get out, I have a big surprise for you. The door was open. I'm sorry to bother you, but um, I'm looking for a Louis Winthrop. Does he live here? Louie? Oh, Louie dead. Louie. Is Jamie Lee Curtis married? It's not telling to holler at me. It was a dream. I dreamt the whole thing. It was just a bad dream. Good morning, sir. Now, nah, folk. It was all because of this terrible, awful Negro. The dish. <laughs> oh, God. Look, it was an experiment. They use us as guinea pigs, man. Dukes use us as guinea pigs. Eddie Murphy and Chris Wright might be the only two black people in movies that can't fight. Dukes ruined my life over a bet. For a dollar. For how much? A dollar. A dollar. One dollar. That's the disrespectful part of this A f***ing dollar. You know, you can't just go run and shoot people in the kneecaps with a double-barrel shotgun because you pissed at them. 
Why not? Hey, that's my favorite shotgun on Call of Duty. You know, it occurs to me that the best way you hurt rich people is by turning them into poor people. That's why they broke. That's why they broke into um uh, coming to America. Louis, Louis, that's him. That's the guy who paid me to talk dirty to you. I saw an outlay on the payroll to him for fifty thousand. Mortimer said it was for research. Oh, oh my God! So they legit are paying somebody. I was just thinking they was like just cashing and checking, keeping the money themselves. Eggnog. Do y'all drink eggnog? I can't do that. Merry New Year! <laughs> Amazing. In this country, we say Happy New Year. Time. I can't even front. Hey, he me. I was like, Happy New Year! Oh, well, that's kind of you, son. And a Happy New Year to you, too. And hey, I do buck wow. He said, You know what? I would love to help you. Uh, come in, my child. Join the party. And let me see now. You would be from. Shut the f up. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Harry, Harry, I certainly hope there's enough space on the train for me. Shut the f up. <laughs> See if this one's empty. Hey, back off. I'll rip out your eyes and piss on your brain. Oh my god. You got it. You fucking weirdos. We're gonna take a little walk. I mean, so what... So what are, what are they gonna do? Because, I mean... And no more phony Irish whiskey. No more goddamn jerky beef. He gonna shoot him on the train? Hey, come on, loosen up, man. It's almost New Year's Eve. Why would you want to <gasps> Oh, shut the f up. The gorilla saved him. He clubbed the shit out of him, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh sh oh sometimes it looks so human it gives you the creeps boy that uh that other one's getting kind of horny ain't he hey his eyes is cocked like a motherfucking pistol look at it he see his opposite ear. Uh, that black one must be the female. <clears throat> oh, he about to get fucked by a gorilla. Oh, you can't right after that. You're not going to no more again ever in your life. Where is he? Beaks? Are you there, Beaks? Bro, y'all are doing illegal business. Why are you yelling? Did, did you get the report? I see the money. He's my stupid. Okay, toss it over. Wonderful news. Wonderful. Beaks. Happy New Year. This is why rich people get fed over in life. Well, I can't say rich people. Greedy people. Greedy, dirty, scummy people get fed over in life. Because they do, they just do dumb shit like this. Actually, I can't even say it because they got enough money to work. They should be okay. Ew. He just held her gum like that. Ew. I could use a stiff drink. 
what you got to join. Is she still a prostitute? Or she retired? Because if I was dead aggro, I'd try talking to retire. Think positive. Never show any sign of weakness. Always go for the throat. Buy low, sell high. Fear, that's the other guy's problem. Hey. I like that. And they came out like horses. These motherfuckers running. Now the Duke's trader is going to be buying like crazy right from the opening. Listen. We'll be waiting until he drives the price up. Right. I can't wait to see his face when they broadcast that genuine crop report. Listen. I just... I just don't understand how to get anything done like that. Like, I understand the shit as a whole. I just don't understand how to get it done like that. 102 bin for 100 days old. Like for real, I don't know. How can the price be going down? Something's wrong. Where's Wilson? What are they doing here? Making an ass load of money. God help us. And this is madness. And this is crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, the orange crop estimates for the next year. This is crazy. I could imagine being in there. Cold winter has apparently not affected the orange harvest. Look at this shit! And that's crazy! Eddie Murphy still he's like. I wonder how that would feel. Like, the, the, just know you done that. Valentine. Hey, how'd you make out today? How could you do this to us after? Shut up, bitch. You racist. The Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put you on the poorhouse at the same time. You didn't think we could do it. I won. One dollar. Thank you, Lewis. After you. Certainly. You know how bad I am? He gave him the most money and everything. McDonald's. Well, McDowell's. Put the uh, Duke Brothers seats on the exchange up for sale at once. Seize all assets of Duke and Duke commodities brokers, as well as all personal holdings of Randolph and Mortimer Duke. Hey, no more is cutthroat. We founded this exchange. It's ours. It belongs to us. Oh, my God. Mortimer, your brother's not well. We better call an ambulance. Fuck him. <laughs> I want trading reopened right now. Get those brokers back in here. Hey, my man, I was like, <laughs> You idiot! Where's Beaks? Where in the hell is Beaks? Beaks getting butt fucked by a gorilla. Uh oh, his butthole a daycare right now. There's two of them in that cage. One gorilla, two gorillas. Big deal. Whole bunch is getting sent back to Africa. <laughs> anyway, take a look. They're in love. Hey, he's tired. <laughs> he's been through a lot of shit. I bet that monkey been out giving it hell. What do you think? Can't we have both? Why not? Dimitri, sir, lobster and crack crab for everyone. The butler got a butler. Shut the f up. Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. He got a sweater on at the beach. <sighs> Eddie Murphy, a f fool, man. All right, so so we just got fans watching Training Places. And that shit's funny as hell. It's not coming to America funny, but it's still fucking funny. I love it, man. Love Jamie Lee Curtis in it. Love Dan Aykroyd. Love Eddie Murphy. Them two together is incredibly funny. Them by themselves is hilarious. Putting them in a situation together 
is amazing. I just realized this. I might be wrong about that, but they used to be on Saturday Night like um, Saturday Night Live together, right? So people used to get that weekly. I bet that was amazing. I bet that was a hell of a time. <laughs> I bet it was one of those movies that was difficult to make because it was so much laughter going on. You got all them funny people on there. Hell, fuck it. You got Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy on set. I don't care if everybody else is serious. You got them two on set. You know they are hilarious. And then, um, so I'm I'm assuming now, well, I guess it's not really an assumption. I guess I know now that this came before coming to America. When he gave him the money to come to America, that's why he said, we're back. I mean, that makes more sense now. Cause I never, I never, I never once got that joke. You know what I'm saying? I never, I never got it. And honestly, I never even asked anybody what the hell that meant. Because the rest of the movie was so funny, I just took it as a joke I didn't understand and just went on with it. But it makes sense now. <laughs> now I'm mad he gave him that money. Motherfuckers. Fuck Penelope. Fuck Ty. Fuck Dan Aykroyd's boys. Honestly, Penelope, Todd, and the rest of Dan Aykroyd's friends are worse than um Mortimer and Randy. They're more ain't shit than those two, than those two, because them supposed to be his friends and his fiance. They switched on him so fast. You know what I'm saying them them fake friends, them only your people. If you got something. They're definitely going on the ain't shit list next time. I'm telling you, it's a special place in hell for people like that. This was a nice movie. Then um the butler. The butler was a good dude. And he hated being mean to Dan Aykroyd. He hated it. And the fact that he was even in that situation is was like is it's sad because a lot of people were in situations like that. You know what I'm saying? Like they gotta do something they don't want to do because it's their job or whatever. Like it's I'm glad at the end he come around and was like, you know what? Screw them. They're shitty people. You know what I'm saying? Then the butler got a butler. That's amazing. But yeah, I love this movie. I loved it. This is funny as hell. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this with me because I enjoy watching with y'all. If you didn't do it for me earlier, do it for me now. Please hit that like and subscribe. Also, don't forget that bell notification. Don't forget to check out the link to the Patreon. I want to give a shout out to the VIPs. I want to give a shout out to Leslie, Trey, John Harold, Becca June, the beautiful dog Missy, Big Al, Robin, John DePatrick, Simon X, Lost Opportunity, aka Crow Crow. Y'all give a shout out to Crow Crow. Crow Crow is going through um, chemo right now. Give him a shout out in the comments, you know what I'm saying? Let him know that we're all in his corner and we're waiting for him to get better. You know what I'm saying? He's part of the family. He's been subscribed to the channel for a while now. You know what I'm saying? Give a shout out to Crow Crow. Shout out to Cody Stoudemire, Frost 1997, Paul Sawicki, Grady B. Olsen, Adam, and Rondo, Big Frank, Echo, Naran, TJ Gingler, Kevin Riley, Red Tail Z, Thomas E. Johnson Jr., The Brandons. I don't know why I love calling y'all The Brandons so much, but I love it. Kyle Carson, Garrett, and Nicholas Jenkins. I want to thank y'all for being VIPs. I want to thank the rest of y'all for being part of the family as well. This was a fun movie. This this has been a fun movie. But I'm going to get off here, so y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Night, night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>